아, 이놈의 인기. Thank you very much. Now that we've learned how to succeed, the rules of success, and how this company was founded, and also economic objective, what is the next purpose of the company, your success. I have told you that Atomy is trying to be the hub of distribution. Not only for the company, but each one of you to live as a hub for the new era. We provide you such a system while becoming the world's top company and going forward a new concept for the new age. Now let's think about this. Exactly what to do for success. There are eight principles for success. First, goal setting. It's a dream building process by setting the object of your life. To live, love, learn, and contribute through a bal balanced life. So you won't regret your life when you die. This life should be rolling inside of your head like a film. And it will lead you to live such a life. If your current life is not what you wanted, it's because you didn't dream it specifically in the past. There's a wise proverb that states, what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Your successful life should be painted first. In your head. Everything in the world was made inside of someone's head before coming out. If your successful life has not come out yet, it's because you didn't paint it clearly in the past, in your own head. So, you need to set a goal first. You have to learn about MBO. So what about MBO? Management by objectives. If you set your goal and paint it clearly, your body moves according to it. What you think is starting point to your success, it will drive you to your goal. Do you understand? Okay. Second principle is resolution. It means you should be determined. You need three things to be determined. One, I will take the initiative. Two, I will have positive thinking. Three, I will pay the price. You have to determine these three things hard in your mind. One, I'll take the initiative. It's about realizing what you have in your mind. By leading what surrounds you. Let me put it this way. 
Tonight, you have built a balanced life for yourself. And you made up your mind to launch your success through network business for Atomy. For your happy and rich family. Family with laughter and no worries. So you decide such things. I'm going to buy a house, 3,000 square foot. Honey, what car did you say you wanted? Hyundai Genesis? I'll change it for you. Kids, do you need one? I'll buy you one for you too. Then people around you will have suspicious eyes on you. <laughs> they will have a doubt on you. Now is the time for you to take the initiative. You need to learn what surrounds you that can be done. You have failed because you haven't really dreamed about it. So what you need to do now is to dream. Then it will come true through Atomy. Why not positive? Take the initiative and lead your family to think the same. What if they say, have you been somewhere strange? <laughs> you will shrink back to their doubt so easily? If so, it's people around you who are taking the initiative. So what? Are you going to take the initiative back or not? Good. You need to make a resolution. Whatever happens, you have to be determined hard and you'll proceed what you have in mind. Stop cowering. I'll write down here. I will never shrink back. Think positively. What you should avoid the most now is fear. You should be afraid to have fear. You want some money to spend for your family? For your neighbors? For anyone that needs you? How come money can't be earned for you having such a good mind? It is fear or negative thinking that blocks success from you. They close your mind to think, I can't, it's impossible, I'm incapable. Why not possible? You are given every condition to succeed. You are given a mouth to speak about Adami and Hemoim. It won't be broken no matter how long you speak. Is anybody here who suffered worrying, getting a cold, or breaking for too much speaking about Adami and Hemoim? Well, actually, I suffered from swollen tongue. Because I came here and talked to you for one night or two days, using 100% what I got, but I know you're saying it. Will you use it from now on? Please do. You are given eyes to look at your face when you are putting cosmetics. Anyone who wants a better skin, use common care. Use it if you want a finer skin. It is a positive solution for various skin troubles. If you look at your face with microscope, it is split and broke. Calming care can solve every trouble on your face. Try it if your face is not soft with big pores and dead skin cells. 
and touch and feel while you wash your face. You can feel that your face is transforming into silk. I'm hesitating to say that this is fear that skincare 6 package looks quality than this. But you need to use calming care and skincare 6 package at the same time. Put the skincare 6 set and then try calming care. It's more maintaining. Do you know about aging serum? Your skin will go back again when you were young again. I felt that my own. It's amazing. What you do is just passing the products to people. Then they will work by themselves. And then there are your hands. Those are given to take bag of Hemohim and Atomy products. You need products to carry with you when you go out selling. Some people just go out with only their mouths when they're not very good. Some with catalog. But seeing is wanting. Take as many as you can. Carry full bags at your both sides when you go to your friend. Show her everything. Talk about it. Then she'll buy it. Say, I came here so hard carrying all these heavy things. Won't you buy one? <laughs> she saw that you were carrying it. <laughs> Won't you buy one? Maybe she would have been thinking before you said, Damn, I should buy at least one. So take as many as you can. For sales, your hands are given for this. Until when? Until they look like rags from carrying too many things. Look at your hands. They're still smooth. What about your legs? They're given to walk towards customers. But I see that you just come to center to talk. Sitting and talking in center is not working. Calling to customers, meeting them, getting educated and, and explaining to others are working. Sitting in center and talking about useless things is not. Go out with your own legs and find a customer. Walk until the legs are sore, until your ligaments are strained. If you're not yet succeeded, that would be a miracle. Is that anywhere here who will say that you cannot succeed for having weak legs and can't walk around? You're given everything, and you are not using it. Now change what you think. You have the power for everything. Think positively. Three, I will pay for the price. The last resolution. You know nothing's free in this world. Is there anything free in anatomy? No, there isn't. Then what do you do? You pay for the price. But it is impossible to ask you to pay for price. With what you don't have, do you have money? You wouldn't come here if you have it. If you have it, you just live with it. If that's the case, you don't need to come here. I know that you don't have it, so we're asking for you to pay with money. You can succeed in business without money. If I say only knowledgeable person can succeed in this business, some of you would shake heads. You don't need it either. It's okay that you know nothing. 
How about experiences? The management team of this company already has them. I, the president, experienced salesman, CEO, and top to bottom of sales master here. Top awarded at Korean Network Marketing Award. The first president of Korea Network Marketing Leaders Club. Where all the successful leaders of one or two from network business companies in Korea, such as Amway, Newskin, Herbalife, and Altwell. I have broad knowledge and experiences. There is Sales Master Council, it is not activated here. Because I've done everything already for you before you discuss. But I say to you, tell me anything that you have to discuss. Look around the other network companies. They push and pull between management team and council, which we don't. Well, your senior sponsors are doing it for you. So listen to them well and do as they say. The problem is when you listen and you don't. Network business is all about making consumer group. Please do not control your line. I mean do not organize everything in your line unnatural way. That will ruin your line interrupting natural developments. Just leave it as it goes. I saw one man was holding to receive sales master to proceed later. Then the counterpart went apart, not even staying as a customer. Why did he hold it? Because he learned wrong. Being afraid of fresh out, he was holding it to organize it later. Please don't do that. You have to keep away scissors for a growing tree. Just leave it to grow naturally. The second branch can be bigger than the first one. Small purchases can be big someday, after. With a quick look, you can think not being fresh out is good. But actually, this case has a problem. The one who is freshening out many times is doing great, to tell you the truth. Because fresh out means small purchases out of you are paid based on small purchases. Do you understand? Many times, out means good for you. Because after that, customers buy it again for it is life necessities that we're dealing with here. You'll have it someday again. So fresh out many times mean the business is going by itself. I would put everything into small purchases if it works that way. Am I wrong? It is something with my ability. That is how your business is going fine. Going not by what you do, but by itself. Because you can never make it with your own capability, you need others to participate. Wait till then, and you'll have those others. Just go straight till you can't control everything. That's the right way. If you're stupid, hold it not to be freshening out and put it later. That kind of control doesn't work for your line. So I'm telling you, please don't do that. And once you made your line, don't believe the ones who call themselves leaders. They are the slowest in advance. They have the list of all the leaders of network businesses in Korea. 
and they make a call only to the leaders. In this way, all of them will be losers. Why have they come here if they have organization when it's easier to get paid when they're with that one? Only losers there would come here. They are not able to buy a set of cosmetics. If you bring a housekeeper of where you live, she can buy at least toothpaste just for her. But these lo losers don't buy wanting much. Just wasting our coffee here with losers mind. They should throw the list away. In the beginning, there was such a man with a list saying that it'll blow away if this leader comes here. I told him to throw that list away quickly if he really wanted to be successful in this business. But he never stopped following leaders. If someone says that there are some leaders with a long list, they're beggars, not leaders. Keep them away. They're losers. Do not find the winner among losers. Do find one among inexperienced. That's better. When you search for a winner among losers, it will never end. The one who was supposed to win should have done so already in other company. What are you looking for among losers there? Sometimes I see people who took a wrong network business company. Don't keep them away. But don't expect too much from them at that same time. It happens. A higher opportunity to win lies to an ordinary housekeeper, a person who has been never involved in network business before, or others who had different backgrounds. We have not so many people who have succeeded in other career. So we don't count your background. But you have one thing to pay. The very thing that we want from you coming here and trying cosmetics and toothpaste. They are not paying. Because you should be using them some day whatsoever. But telling your neighbors that what you use is awesome is what you can do. You need a certain experience or background or even money? Tell them it's amazing. That's how you pay for us. And avoid trying to explain products systematically and organically with full knowledge. Selling is not really related to a good explanation. Just tell them, listen, I tried this once and it's awesome. Touch and feel it for yourself. It's so silky, soft and supple. I've never seen like this one. Try it once. Of course it's better if you can explain all the things from two ways of extraction of alcohol to hydro thermal to radiation, irritation, and coloring issues. But that'll work 10 to 20 percent of the time. Talking good comments about products and the effect will work 80 to 90 percent. Speaking of it, let's practice here the talking. It's awesome. Repeat after me. It's awesome. Just talk this sentence and it'll work. You don't need any background, knowledge, or money for talking. This is what you are paying for the price. And it's a talent that you already got. You know you have a kind heart of wishing good luck for others, success for them. Tell them with this kindness. 
This person will surely be fine by using the product, saving money for cosmetics and detergent all the while. You wish this person to be better. Take that kind and true heart with you. That sincere and desperate heart of hoping for success. For your family, for your loved ones. It's the only thing that you need to take with you. Can you do it? Yes. Can you make it with that? Yes, you can. Now, we made a resolution to pay for the price. The third is list up. We need to make a list of whom we should give the information. A list up for potential customers. It's all about who you know. Normally, a person knows around 250 people. When you marry, there are 250 people to invite. Friends in hometown, middle school, college, army, and society, including community groups, church or other religious group, neighbors, business partners, friends, family, and then there are your relatives and their relatives. All of them will be about 250. Write down a list of 50 among them where you are sitting. Do it with your sponsor. After writing down 50, you can start right away. Don't judge in advance about who is most likely to participate. Don't prejudge. It is used in law. Conjecturing someone as a criminal before trial, he truly becomes one. So do not conjecture. There's this case. Sisters are working in different lines. It happens so because one sister didn't contact the other who lived very far. Conjecturing that she would never do this kind of business and it turned out that she began participating after her own son the son came here in the office and met his aunt, his mother's sister. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? She missed her own sister by missing one call. She conjectured wrong. It's a big loss. Each of them was doing business for too long to move on to another line. If anyone moves, she would have to leave all the lines, so that kept it separate. It happened more than once. She is split case between sister and brother. Sister conjecture that brother wouldn't do it for his, for his temper, and the brother conjecture that she wouldn't do it when she was married and living well. They met on a seminar venue. Please welcome one of your best speakers and a man stepped up onto the platform and it happened to be her own brother. So I'm telling you, do not conjecture. Someone most expected would not participate. Someone least expected would do. You never know. So just make a list and give it to your sponsor. It's important letting everyone around you what you are doing. You're making a list to let everybody know. Number four is invitation.
Invite them by making a phone call. When you first call, don't try to explain everything about the business. Just tell them you needed to talk to them about something important in person. Follow up can be done by calling. But first, take the person participated in the seminar. And remember, don't lie. Sometimes I see people with hiking boots on. This is the case that the member lied to them to go to the mountain to have some fun. But no fun, no view, just sitting all day long for the seminar. They would have been broken up forever if it wasn't me. Is anyone here come for fun? Look, there she is. I see one or two every time. But lying would make you unbelievable. If you are willing to talk in detail, then just say, let's go hear some more seminar. Well, here we have a cool breeze in the mountain. Don't lie as a lease. Just say, let's take some air. And take one here with you. You can feel the cool air here, too. It's not a lie. After invitation, number five is network business explanation. It's showing the plan. First of all, you need to explain what company is about. Including management team. It's a company mainly deals with products manufactured by SBT, which is co-founded company by KERI and Korea Komar. Their products are based on research by KERI, one of the national institute. The famous products are Hemohem and Atomy Cosmetics. These are excellent explanation. And about management team, say like this. The president is Han Geer Park, who is capable of making the company top in the world. One in a million, and he's very handsome. Kidding. I'm just giving you an example. And then second of all, you should tell about products. About what we are dealing. Well, there's a common feature for our products. Mastige, prestige, and quality with price for the mass. Quality compares with prestige. Price compares with competitive stores. Mastige is a new age that this company is making the entrance for. Distribution is not something Cheap or good price gathers people. You don't go to competitive stores because they explain well and pay you much. You go there because they have cheap and good products. And we are dealing prestigious products at a price of competitive stores. Our toothpaste and sanitary pad is cheaper than there. We are selling real nice cosmetics at a price of competitive stores with its quality is compared to prestigious ones. That's the concept of product of Atomy. A company for mastige. Mass means many people and prestige refers to people who use expensive products. Mass plus prestige equals mastige. This is a company for it. Third of all, you explain about benefit and income? You can tell in detail how much exactly when you understand the benefit system. I'll talk about it later. And fourth of all, motive for participation. About why you started network business and what vision you saw.
Normally, they talk crap here. Like, I didn't want to participate but needed to help my friend. You can't succeed in this way. Just why I ask, you say clearly about your objects for balanced life last night. When I have nothing in this company, I went to Ixan driving a $2,500 carnival van and I told them that the richest person in Ixan will come out here. Where is the most expensive village in here? You'll all live in there. When you become crown master, I'll give you Hyundai Equus to each of you. When you become imperial master, I'll give you a million dollar. We are working for the company that declared a war to the world market. We'll be the top distribution company in the world. I told them confidently and they are following. It sounds nonsense, but if you say this upon your belief, it will be delivered with enormous power. You have to break the thinking of losers' negative thinking. You have to break it. Because you are the awoken one, aren't you? Through this seminar, I hope you can break the attitude of saying a little money of 2000 or 3000 is enough. Please don't. Why save it? Just spend it. You can earn instead. Just don't spend wrong. Spend it as you want for your loving family, for helping poor people. You need a bottom line when you make an object? Of course, the bottom amount of how much you will earn is needed. But you also have to settle the top amount that you want no more. That's the secret of being rich. If you don't limit the top amount, you can't get rich. In America, you're not rich if you do not donate. They decide if a person is rich and not based on donation. If you got hundreds, thousands, a million dollars and avoid donation, they will criticize you. That you're not stuff for yourself, nothing's outflowing means you're still poor. If you're stuff full and overflowing, you're real rich. So you have to set the bottom line. Or you can't be rich. Will you be okay if you got $100,000? Put that amount into your account and look at it. It'll look small. A million dollars should be okay for now. End of troubles. I don't think you'll be satisfied with that. Now, you'll see someone who has $5 million or $10 million. People don't know how to calculate how much they need. So they still borrow money at age 60, 70, 80, having some million dollars and get furious for the loss of just some thousand dollars. I see some old men. They don't know how to calculate. With your bottom line, you can be generous. It means that you can accept loss. Ungenerous people can accept it. You must have seen such a person who says all the time, I never lose because I'm smart. People around him would be uncomfortable. He himself would not be living fine. Ladies and gentlemen, to be generous, you need to calculate your loss in advance. You need to know how to accept loss. For this attitude, you need to think that you would give first. And then, when someone makes a loss for you, you can be generous. Regarding that he's taking what he deserves from the beginning, Set the bottom line. 
Number six is follow up. It is from follow up to follow through where follow up is calling to a purchaser within 24 hours. Sometimes people have bad image on a product. For a pretty problem when they see it for the first time, for some people's taste, the first taking of Himalayan can be unfamiliar. You explain to him right at the moment that natural herbal ingredient is inside. It's very good for health and it smells will wash you refresh. Then the unfamiliar scent will be felt nicer to that person. Telling your purchasers like this is a follow up. There's this case about container of cosmetics. That is what we sell with a cover here. It's hard to fill up full until here. Because it spills. So it is filled with this shape. Think about cream. Covering like this can leave some bubbles here. Fulfilling up to very hard because it's overflowing. So if its content is 150 milliliters, then they may the container for 160 milliliters. With a little empty space for speedy manufacturing process, it is necessary to make cost decrease. I know that expensive one takes a very good care of here, but ours are not expensive. We did this to speed up to be cost effective. And if it's tilt a little, and stays for a while, bubbles can be generated inside. If it's upside down, makes bubbles like this. And then customers complain about this. Asking is the cosmetics made up of bubbles? If you don't call for follow up, she would just feel bad and forget about this. But you call and she says there's an empty space inside. Sometimes she goes a little further. Is it a conman company? You can explain. No, it's not. All 150 milliliter is in there. They made the container for 160 milliliter for manufacturing convenience. You will know if you put all the contents away and weigh it, nobody would do so. But they will understand your point and use it again, feeling great. Like this for a trivial problem of a product. You need to recheck. Follow up within 48 hours of purchase. There is another one. Follow through. If you want multiple success with your members, support them till the end. Especially the line that is doing great. If you're happy with this line and go another small one to take care, then the people in this line will feel not happy with you. You need to back up one line fully until it's okay to leave it all. Then concentrate on the other line until it goes big. Then both can be great quickly. If you leave the medium sized line in the middle of the growth, you will lose it forever. So follow through. Support them till the end. Also, you need to take responsibility for the people who listens to you and participate. It's not just them. Their family is behind them. There could be a sick parent or disabled children even if they're hiding. Looks fine by the clothes but could be in the middle or some problem. If you make one succeed, his family succeeds too. 
So you need a responsibility with affection and help them succeed. More than yourself. You have to take care of your partners, not yourself. You should truly wish your partners and sponsors to succeed. You can forget about your own. There are words in the Bible, you should watch another man's feet. Not watching yours. Love one another deeply from the heart. Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. While you love another, washing the feet and fix the problem with much more love than for yourself, then your own feet will be washed by others. I've done that. I wish every one of partners here a success. And I tried hard for them until late at night. Thinking what I wouldn't regret if I die in the process. I wasn't well in the first place when I started the network business. But I had in mind that I would never regret it if I died doing this. If only other people could succeed, the ones who believed in me, when I had nothing, they wouldn't regret it. But then, they worried about me more than I did. When I promised to give them more, they worry about the company. Sir, Please take care of you. What about the company? We are okay to go. There were so many people that I should be grateful for. We were not fancy in the beginning, not having a piece of catalog for over a year. But the leaders worked very hard. Printing all night long with no regrets, no complaining. I can't imagine anyone working so hard in the company. They could have just left. But they stayed, filling up empty spaces of atomy. They were washing my feet. They did all things for me that I should have done. Now, I'll fill up the rest. I know I still have lots to do. I'm doing one by one to make it through Atomy without any difficulty. I can't forget the hearts of people who help me a lot. When I was so hard. So I'm telling you. You should follow through until each one of your lines succeed. Number seven is counseling. You have to be a counselor. Counseling is about speaking to a person who comes to you with a problem. Let me give you an example. Case one. I have a weak network. There are some people who keep saying the same thing to me and don't accept any invitation. Weak network for themselves means they don't have a list. Then they should make one. That's why we make a list together.
Sometimes they complain that I'm not helping them by introducing people to them. But they have to know what a sponsor is not an introducer in the first place. When a sponsor recruits a man, he goes to my partner's no other lines. So if you recruit some people, they absolutely go to your line. Which line? A small one? Don't complain about that. What would you do if you were me? Would you take a big one or a small one? A small one. You would do the same. So please do not complain that if you are in a big line, well, there's an automatic play for you to get it. You are in a small line. Which do you prefer to include, big or small? Look, a big one is better, so don't tell your sponsor what to do. You should tell instead, I'll take care of my line. You take care of small lines for yourself. Wishing the sponsor to be well. And one day, you'll be in a small line. Then it'll come to where? To you. So let your sponsor keep cultivating small lines while you're in the big one. If sponsor wants to help you, say no courtesy. and say take care of the other line first you can't succeed with only sponsors network everybody has one sponsor what does that mean sponsors network isn't enough for everyone so you need partners network now Suppose there is a sponsor, and you are too, now what? Expecting someone from your sponsor? No, there are just very few maintained. You should check the network of your partners. Ask them, who do you have to be successful? Then names will come out. Write them down on the paper. What's his name? John? How old is he? After 50? What about his character? Write down what they talk to you about. He's enthusiastic for doing whatever he does. This person is perfect. Write down enthusiastic and ask again, do you think he's interested in using products or earning money? Well, he does whatever he can to make money. You think you'll have to explain from the benefit system and ask what time would be good to meet him. He's active at night, sleeping at morning and get up late. Then say, let's meet him at one night. Then, he's in good condition. Keep doing this for each name. And make each strategy for each person. Adding a meeting schedule, which is better for him to talk. In here seminar or in his house. Well, he likes going around everywhere. Let's call him to come to seminar. This is how you do. Assume that you met him and you check again whose names he's got. Asking, who do you think first after the seminar? Can you think of five names? Write down the names and repeat this procedure over and over again. Go deep inside each person's network. Names will be coming out forever. So you should check your partner's network to find new persons.
Let's suppose that you've done all these procedures and sales are low. This is when you yourself are not a frequent user. You can tell putting Atomy Cosmetics made your skin so soft and you get up one or two hours earlier with Hemoim. Only after you have experienced the products that have good impression. So if you have such problem, it's because you miss delivering your impression. What if you're a frequent user and a number of member isn't getting any higher? It's the case you're not feeling the vision of the network business. You're not telling the vision of the business to others. That's why it's not getting higher. New members keep coming in, but the network itself is not getting bigger. The cause of such problem normally lies with you. Because network business grows as size of your heart. Sometimes we see a person who keeps everyone away with such small mind. And the network doesn't grow. To make it bigger, you need to make your heart bigger and keep a low profile. No one likes being under anyone. You should crawl under that person to make this person bigger. Lying tightly down to the floor. The more you lower your face, the higher you'll go. If you think you have to succeed for the ones you love, you need to have some modesty. And you should think that you can do it. Whoever hits on you or ignores you. You have nothing to lose for being already in the ground. The last motto of Atomy is to serve others. If you serve others, even timid person will be sticking around you. I too serve you. Look at me. This platform is a little higher, but it's only for you to see me well. I'm the president of Atomy. But dear ladies and gentlemen, usually the president of the company makes a speech for five minutes then goes away. But I'm talking to you for one night, two days. Upon your request, of course. If you want me as the best speaker, you guys invited me here to talk and then say, Thank you for your request. I'll do my best. That's what I'm down here right now to serve you. Someday, I'll be just on the background here. When you request someone better. Saying, okay. I'll be down there. I'll listen to the better speaker. So you should keep a low profile. The reason why I'm telling you as a speaker is because I serve you. This is supposed to be the sales master. But if you request you're the best speaker, you should do it. Then I'll do it to serve you. What a boast, huh?
Anyway, keep a low profile and counsel. Number eight is cloning. It is a little different from copying. You call cloning Dolly, not copying Dolly, don't you? Copying is duplicating, getting exactly the same shape. For example, there's a tree. Copying is making the same shape of the tree in another place. By making the small green leaf and trunk on it as an imitation. Cloning is reproducing. Taking the seed of a tree on the ground and let it sprout then grow bigger and bigger until the same tree is made. This is reproducing. What's important here is that the original seed has to be good. If you don't want such same partners as yours, then who do you have to change? Yourself. If you want partners just like you, who are you going to make it? That's the standard. So what you should do from now on is making good seed. You know what? The original remains. It doesn't go anywhere. So take a good care, make good seeds. Trimming yourself as a good person enough to say you want people just like you. And then clone yourself, but be careful. I see some people who wanted so much to operate the business well with a nice car and investing in a house. So they borrow money. What do you think about them? They're copying. A superior business person in this company that they saw. But what you do is cloning, not copying. Remember this. Until now, you've met Atomy. Where you can dream a successful life and a dream is actually coming true. Many people fail because they don't know the laws of success. If you know, you can succeed. Atomy will be the world number one leading distribution company. Now if you know the eight laws and practice each every rule, You can be a sales master. And if you can make a consumer group in 15 days that generates 2.5 million PV points, no matter how long it takes you, three months, six months, or a year, you'll receive a regular income of 2,000 to 4,000 per month. Moreover, if you have two sales master among your partners, you'll be a diamond master who receives $4,000 to $13,000 per month. This is the point where you can go higher automatically, even when you do nothing. I mean, you cannot go up there at one time. Once you become a sales master, let everyone in your network know what you do and show them how good and beneficial the products are for them. In this difficult time, when nobody is free to get an easy job, or for someone who is having a hard time to decide what to do, tell them you found a good job that they can participate. Then you'll become sales master. It's open to anyone. After that, you can grow with this company. and you will achieve the goal for your balanced life. Do you understand? I hope all of you can succeed with Atomy. 
Thank you. <laughs>